Okay, so we're checking out a new uh, stack from HGLRC, from the micro stack. Uh, it's called the F420, and it consists of two parts the uh, flight controller part, which is the F4M3, and then you have the uh, 401B uh, BLL SESC. This is, a, this is the BS20, and it's a uh, BLL 20 amps burst to 25 amps for up to 10 seconds. And this is the, uh, I guess, the product you guys have been waiting for. The guy, for those of you guys that have been hitting the pins on all the HGLRC micro um, flight controller stacks, uh, especially with those breaking and crashes, uh, now they've gone sort of old school. I guess you can call this old school with the micro connector from the flight controller to the uh, foreigner and ASC. This will definitely survive crashes better. And let's give you a closer look at the boards themselves. Here's the ASC on the left and flight controller on the right and uh, as you can notice here the, the boards are actually quite a bit bigger than the old boards we got first of all I'll start off with some M3 holes instead of M2 holes and just for a size comparison here's the old this is the F428 stack you can see it's quite a bit smaller and you can see the size difference there so the, this, the mounting hole pattern is 20 by 20 and see that matches up uh, but the size of the board, uh, the flight controller, is about 30 by 30, so approximately. So that's uh, quite a bit bigger than the old boards. And obviously with the nylon hardware that's included, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bigger stack overall than this. I'll put it together and I'll, I'll show it to you side by side here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you happen to get the other SKUs, um, it's a flight controller by itself, or the foreman EC by itself, you don't get this connector. And if you're just wondering what, what, what it comes with, it just comes with this uh, basically just uh, either either side of the connector and then the wires are cut for each side here. So if you want to see what those look like, check out the haul video from like a few days ago. You'll see what that looks like. I had the unboxing there. Uh, but if you want to get them, to, get them, to, get them con together with the connector, then you want to get the stack version with everything connected here, everything that comes with here, and also includes the um, capacitor as well. This is a 1000 microfarad 35 volt capacitor. Pretty huge for this stack. It's only 20 amps. Now, uh, I know you guys are wondering, hey, when are they going to come out with bigger ESCs like 30 and 40? Probably pretty soon, I imagine. This is the, the first iteration of their pinless uh, design. So, uh, don't worry guys, it should, <laughs> should come out soon. Anyway, so here's a look at the flight controller. Uh, pretty much the same stuff as they've had before. It's an Omnibus F4 flight controller. MPU 6000 gyro, so it is a uh, AK gyro. And they've moved all the pads to the outside here. So that's why the board's bigger. And the pads are fairly large. Uh, same three UARTs as before, so nothing changed there. Uh, RSSI as well as uh, current sensor. Um, yeah, this, look around the world all, everything is silk screened and nicely labeled so there shouldn't be any issues in terms of figuring out what is what and then here's the underside of the board there's um, not too much here there's some stuff some pads here but they're not labeled so I'm not 100 percent sure what those are probably have to consult the product page and then they'll have a, a diagram that will show what these little pads are here um you got an osd chip you got a uh, 3 amp back on here, uh, chip for black box data, pretty much same as what they've had before on their flight controllers. It's just that now the of using the pins, they now have a uh, micro connector on the side here that goes, uh, basically gets power from the EC as well as the signal wires, and it's going to be your normal uh, six wires. So you get your ground, your uh, battery voltage, and then the motor uh, signals. So you get one, three, two, and four. That's a the normal order here that's what the order is going to be coming out of the connector like so maybe i think the connector goes in like this and it should be the same on the flight controller so those are a little closer look at the four and one esc uh let's see here what's the, what's the right orientation so there's motor one motor two motor three and motor four so that means that your battery leads are going to be on top here you can solder on your motors here and your battery lead here, and the micro connector is going to be underneath. So I imagine it's probably going to be something like it's probably connected over here, like this. It's actually not that one. It's actually this one on this side. So they're they are not oriented the same on 
though so this one goes into the ESC and then uh, since this is on the bottom probably have to let's see here that's probably gonna go like this next yeah, so the arrow that's forward there and so somehow you got to wrap this around where your batteries um, are soldered on or the battery leads soldered on here so uh, yeah something like that let me go ahead and I'll just go ahead and actually assemble it and we'll see what it looks like and then compare it next to the uh, bolt stack okay so you just uh, quickly put this together and just give you an idea what it looks like you can see that it's quite a bit larger than the old one and let's just get a weight measurement first get a rough idea of how much this should weigh in your build and coming at 16.14 grams and for comparison this is the old one 8.9 grams so almost double and actually if, we, if you use the capacitor you should probably include the weight of that as well so 18.63 grams and then the old stack is yeah so it's practically double uh, with the capacitor so I guess uh, I guess the extra weight uh, and size here uh, I guess you're gonna get more durability with the M3 standoffs the boards are thicker as well I can probably, I don't know if you guys camera will capture that or not you can, they can tell the boards thicker as well that's where the extra weights coming from everything is just heftier um, so yeah uh, you, there is a bit of a weight penalty I guess if you want more durability I guess because of this old design here with the pins always breaking and crashes that was a little bit too fragile um, I actually haven't had that problem I've crashed these quite a bit but apparently some people have had that issue um, yeah, so if you're having that issue and want something a little bit more reliable then definitely check out the the new stack here with the uh, the new pins and the, the micro connector oh and then another question I'm sure you guys are wondering uh, will this do 6s uh, this does not do 6s it's the same as the old stacks it does just 2 to 4s uh, I'm not sure if they're coming with a 6s stack I've heard rumors that they might be but I haven't had any confirmation on that yet but I'm pretty sure probably sometime this year if you guys are waiting for that I'm pretty sure that'll be coming out at some point Anyways, that's going to do it for this review of the HGLRC F420 stack. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.